Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install Backtrack 5 onto your Android device. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the Backtrack distribution files. And to do that we'll go to backtrack-linux.org forward slash downloads. And once you're there, you'll scroll down and you can skip entering your information and simply select the download button and here we'll choose our release and for that we're going to select Backtrack 5 and then under Window Manager we'll choose Genome Architecture will be ARM Image Type Image and then your download type you can download it directly with your Safari downloader or your Firefox downloader or you can download the torrent file and then use uTorrent or BitTorrent or some other torrent application to actually download the distribution files so once you've done that, go ahead and select the button that says click to download and let that process complete. Then what you need to do, if you're a Mac user, you'll need to download Android File Transfer. This is the application that we'll use to transfer the Backtrack 5 distribution files to our Android device. So to do that, you'll go to android.com forward slash file transfer. And once you're here, you'll simply select download now and then you'll download the file and install it onto your Mac. After you've finished downloading the Backtrack 5 distribution files and you've installed the Android file transfer application, you'll want to connect your Android device to your system via the USB cable. And once you've done that, the Android file transfer application will automatically open up. If it doesn't, you can go into your Applications folder and manually open it yourself. For PC users, your device will automatically mount to your system and you can navigate to it and specifically navigate to your internal storage. So once you have your Android file transfer application opened up, you're going to want to select the icon here that allows you to create a new folder. You're going to title that folder BT5 in all uppercase. Create it. And there it is. Now you'll take your backtrack files that you downloaded and you're going to select all of them and you're simply going to drag them over and copy them into your BT5 folder. Now it is a little bit over one gigabyte, so it's going to take a few minutes to finish transferring over. Once you've finished transferring the Backtrack 5 files to the BT5 folder you created in your internal storage, you're going to want to open up the Google Play Store and search for an application called Z Archiver. Now, once you have it there, you'll want to select the free version and go ahead and download and install that and after you finish installing it select open and that will open the archiver and here you'll want to navigate to the BT5 folder you created once you've done that you'll notice a file called bt5.image.gz we're going to want to select that file and we're going to choose extract here and you see the extraction process has begun and it's going to take a few minutes because the file we're extracting is approximately five gigabytes once you've finished extracting the bt5.image file you're going to want to navigate back to the google play store and search for an application called busybox now once you've done that go ahead and download and install it and after you've installed it select open to open it and it's going to ask you for super user permission make sure you go ahead and grant that or allow it and close out this little pop-up window and you can select the install button or you can let it complete the smart installation but once it's completed the installation you can go ahead and close it alright now that we've closed BusyBox we need to navigate back to the Google Play Store where we're going to search for an application called Android VNC it's also called Android VNC Viewer so make sure you are installing the correct one so once you're there go ahead and download and install that and we're not going to open it yet we are going to navigate back into the search field and search for an application called terminal emulator and you can see there it is it's also called android terminal emulator so go ahead and open that up and once you're there you'll need to download and install it and then we're going to open terminal emulator and here we're going to begin entering our commands so we can launch Backtrack 5. Alright, so the first command that we're going to type is SU and that's going to give us super user or root permission. Press enter. Then we're going to type CD space 
forward slash SD card forward slash uppercase BT5 and that's the BT5 folder we created earlier press enter and now we have access to the BT5 folder now we're going to type SH space boot BT press enter now you see we have booted backtrack 5 now we're going to type tight VN C server all one word space tack geometry space and then the dimensions of your device so for me it's going to be 1280 by 720 pixels yours may be 1280 by 800 if you're using a tablet and if you find the dimensions aren't right for your device you can redo them press enter and here it shows we have started a VNC session with Backtrack 5. Now you'll see I've got six different warnings saying localhost 1, 2, through 6 is taken. It's because I've launched Backtrack that many times. So if you make note down at the bottom where it says new X desktop is localhost 7, you're going to want to make note of that because when we input the port number that we're going to be connecting to with our VNC server, we're going to be using 5907. So make note of that digit there. Yours may be one or two, so make note of that. Okay, now you have the option to set a password for your VNC session. So if you want to do that, go ahead and type export space user in all uppercase equals root Oops, in lowercase. Press enter. Now you'll type VNC P A S S W D. Press enter. Now it's going to ask you to enter a password. It could be anything you want. I'm simply going to type mine Chris123. Press enter. Now you need to verify your password. Chris123. Press enter. Now, would you like to enter a view only password? Go ahead and select no by typing N. Press enter, and there you go. So now what we need to do is close out the terminal emulator, and we're going to open VNC. Okay, so now we're in Android VNC. The first thing we're going to need to do is enter a nickname for our session. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call mine Chris. Then you need to enter the password you created. Now if you didn't create a password, you'll just leave this field blank. Leave the address field blank. Now for port, remember I told you localhost to make note of that digit. Mine is going to be 7. So your port number should be 59 and then that localhost digit. So yours is probably 5901 if this is the first time you've launched Backtrack. Username, leave it blank and then color format we're going to want to select 24 bit color now down here leave everything as it is and now go ahead and select connect and you can see here we have successfully launched backtrack 5 on our android device now if you go ahead and it's all touch screen same as normal you can choose the applications menu you'll have firefox Editor cap, you have your backtrack menu with all of your penetration testing tools. And obviously, because this is on an Android device, some of the tools will be missing. However, there are still a good assortment of tools still available to you. So that's it. That's how you install and launch Backtrack 5 on your Android device. Now, one last note when you're done using Backtrack and you want to exit, simply go back to Terminal Emulator and you will type exit and that will exit your session and then type exit again and that will close terminal emulator one more time there you have it